Enoch was a man that had great intimacy with God. Intimacy is such a simple word that can explain so much. It represents the closeness, affinity, and heart-to-heart -heart companionship we can have with another individual. The Bible is full of people who have stood in this place of fellowship and communion with the Lord. From the Old Covenant and even before, the Spirit was freely given to empower people to obey the Lord. One such example of that kind of deep, intimate relationship with the Lord even resulted in a supernatural occurrence. The book of Genesis gives us the account of a man named Enoch. And Enoch lived sixty and five years, and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah three hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Genesis 5 18 to 24. The scriptures also record two other simple verses about him. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Hebrews 11 5 KJV and Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and all of their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Jude 1, 14 to 15, KJV. The Bible does not disclose what happened at the point God took him or even after. Still, he must have followed with the same intensity of faith that Abraham showed when he was heading to Mount Moriah to sacrifice Isaac, believing that he would receive him back again. It also may have been the same intensity of faith with which Elijah followed God until the chariots of fire swept him off the earth in a blaze of glory. Enoch leaves us with an understanding that can be the possibility of every believer, for God is not a respecter of persons. Anyone who desires and is willing to pay the cost can equally experience great depths with God. So what does intimacy and walking with God entail? Number 1. Daily acknowledging that God is who He says He is, believing what He has promised and exercising rock-solid faith in His Word. But without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11, 6, KJV Number 2. A determination to follow his leading, no matter what comes, even if attractive or better other alternatives may appear. O oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land, where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Psalm 63, 1-2, KJV the end result of Enoch's life of deep and passionate walk with God was an encounter that was strange 
but marvellous. He became the first partaker in some sort of rapture. No wonder the scriptures say that God is ready to accomplish supernatural feats for those who love him. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 KJV Several other benefits accompany those who have committed to a life of intimacy with God. As we look at some of them, it is essential to desire and practically pursue a close walk with God, and He will do in our lives excellent signs because He has created us to show forth His glory to the world. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth even every one that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him. Ye, I have made him. Isaiah 43, 6-7, KJV Walking in close fellowship with God makes us experience his loving care practically, and he loves to be close to us in every way. Also, intimacy with God grants us profound revelations from Him and opens us up to His secrets. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning this secret, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Ultimately, walking closely with him gives God joy. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love he will joy over thee with singing. Zephaniah 3, 17, KJV What an exhilarating thought that we can cause the heart of our Father to sing. This should make the pursuit of a close walk with Him the deepest desire of our hearts. As we passionately pursue hard after Him, He will keep satisfying us with His presence until we rise up to meet with him in glory.